Hello everyone. Today uh, we have about eight pounds of the uh, uh, homegrown tomatoes and we decide to make a homemade ketchup today and I will show for you guys what, what we need. Like I said, we have eight pounds of tomatoes. Then I need to have garlic, uh, vinegar, hot pepper. I use uh, dry, which we picked uh, last year, and it will work. Uh, then onion, ginger root, uh, all spices, uh, salt, paprika. On this time, instead of sugar, I will use uh, honey and vinegar. So first what I need to do, I need to prepare uh, tomatoes. So I wash it and I will cut it on four pieces and I will put in pan. And then I will show what, what next. See you in my next video. I move on my next step. I split tomatoes for two uh, parts. And I will add, it, I will add uh, a little bit of uh, boiled hot water just a little bit in every part because now I need to boil tomato about uh, five minutes from starting of, of boil. So this will make my tomatoes so soft and then I can proceed in my next step. So see, see about in my <laughs> about five ten minutes on my next step okay. okay my next step is i will use this blender and will make puree from tomatoes and it will be help me on my next step okay see you my next step step is i need to run this uh puree through my strainer and this will allowed me to uh, separate seeds and uh, skin from the puree. So again, it looks like here, and see this result. So we'll see my next step. Okay, now my puree is ready, and you, everyone can see uh, consistency. It's not hard body, there's only only soft part of tomatoes and hard body is there. So I separate it now. I will add my puree into pot. And I already loaded pot with uh, onion and also I, I decide to use uh, sweet pepper. So onion, sweet pepper, hot pepper, uh, what else is there? Ginger root. And everything is there except garlic. So now I will add puree. And it's covered. And I will boil it about 20, 30 minutes, but also I need to check uh, how uh, puree so it, it should be not so liquid it, it should be a bit like sticky and I need to manage time so see you after 15-20 minutes so I, I transfer my uh, product from pot into bowl and my next step is I need again run uh, this uh, future ketchup through strainer and again I need to have clear product, clear puree. And for now I just check and it's like like this one. It's uh, it's still a little bit liquid, but it will be boiled next about 20-40 minutes. We'll see. 
Okay, show my, my next step. Everything is transferred, and first what I will do, I will add uh, honey and then salt, and I will I will adjust uh, sugar and salt first, and then I will add everything, other, I mean every other ingredient, every other spices. And then I will boil again about uh, 30, 40 minutes, so I, I need to make it more sticky than it's right now. Okay, see you my next step. Thank you for watching my video. So everything is done, and my ketchup looks like right now this one, which is very beautiful. And next step, I will transfer ketchup into my cans which are already sterilized it's there so and we'll see we'll see on my video how many cans do i have from uh eight pounds of tomato see you my next step so guys i use eight pounds of tomatoes and i have two cans of ketchup and a little bit i will try it on front of you And I, I tell you, it's so nice, it's unbelievable nice. Sweet and sour, spicy. And the, the, the most uh, important stuff, it no preservative. And I know how I grow my tomatoes. So everything is beautiful. And if you have a lot of leftover uh, tomatoes, which you do not know what you need to do, just make ketchup. So this ketchup is ready and I will close it and I will store in the refrigerator. So this ketchup actually can store anywhere. So it's sterilized, it's everything made for long-term keeping. So please leave your uh, comments, messages, questions, and I will, I will answer for everyone. And don't forget to sign on my YouTube channel. Bye.